The Artist Council has some great news to share. They've been very active in our community for over five decades supporting local artists, and now they have a new official space that will be the perfect showcase for the many talented artists and spectacular art created right here in our valley. Welcome to both of you. I know you Hello. are sharing such exciting news because the Artist Council now has the Artist Center at the Galen, which is really big news for our valley. But the Artist Council, in fact, David, has really been around for a while. It has. The Artist Council has a 54-year history. Wow. It began as part of a council of the Palm Springs Art Museum and ran uh, that way until 2018 when it was decided to to uh, mutually release each other and we ended up then starting our own 501c3 so the new artist council is, is three years old and we're very excited about all the things that are happening well so excited because you know uh formerly the the galen a uh, center there at the yep. palm desert um kind of adjunct uh, museum from mm -hmm. the, our art museum uh, is it's a beautiful facility. Talk to me about the artists that are being represented and what we have to look forward to. Oh, we're so excited. You have no idea because the new show, the first in-person show oh. after months and months and months, obviously of virtual shows, which is not the same. It's really not the same, you know, and we're calling this show Nexus because it means point of connection, a central nice. point, which we want to be the central point. We want to be a hub of activity in the Coachella Valley and beyond. There was 111 artists. Can you imagine? Wow. They all sent in their work and uh, so the show is coming up October 15th and we're planning an opening, but it goes through November 21st. So we, you know, invite everyone to come by. We'll be open Wednesday through Sunday, right? From 10 to four. Perfect. There's no entry fee, so you can come and check out the art. And it's a beautiful space. I've been there a few times. What a lovely space. Exactly. It's been very exciting as we've sort of refurbished our, our building with, with new, uh, new lights and new signs. A beautiful new uh, artist center logos have gone up and uh, working with the city they've been very good to work with and uh, we're excited about this conservation leads built building being it's a, it's a piece of art in and of itself it yes. really is and i know of course this exhibit will continue through november 21st but yes. you told me you're planning all the way through the summer of 2022 yes. so tell us what you've got on board well the next one is a virtual show a, sh a shorter period of time called hollywood squares and it's actually a fundraiser for us artists send in an eight by eight uh, canvas oh, nice. and uh, it gets auctioned off, I can say, for $100 a piece. Mm -hmm. nice. So you can go to artistcouncil.com and get all the information of that. Nice. And then after that, we have a pop-up coming up. It's a member gallery, which is also a member benefit. Beyond just the visual arts, we've uh, signed up some musical events as well. We're having the Desert Baroque. It's giving five uh, uh, concerts. Mm -hmm starting in December 3rd all the way through March and we're very excited about that because we're bringing music we'd like to bring all the arts to, to the building and this is a very exciting first step mm, looks beautiful the current exhibit continues through November 21st so make sure you check it out and then stay tuned for more exciting upcoming events so important to support our arts especially our local artists for NBC CARES Silver Linings I'm Sandy Newton